this JWS image is actually going through a really small, tiny area of the sky in very detail, mm. right? So, and that one, the three panel is that how much SuperX can see at once. Mm. In, in single exposure, SuperX see that this old green uh, square is a huge area, about 3.5 degrees. If you compare that with the oh. size of the moon, only the moon is feeling that small part of the sky. Oh. But uh, doctor, I'm just curious. So I, you know, the James Webb or the Hubble, um, it's capturing so small compared to the new Sphere X, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the Sphere X is much quicker and wider. Like, how is it able to do that? Yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of decision. What is limited for the, this kind of astronomy and space mission you usually lay life? What is the usually limiting factor in your life? <laughs> Money, time. Money, exactly. <laughs> time, yeah. Yeah. time or money, right? So you have a limited amount of money. So in the James W. case, you have $10 billion. Yeah. And Spear case is about $0.3 billion, OK? Oh. So you have limited amount of money. And how do you spend? How to make a biggest return out of it? It's a oh. science question. So astronomers can make a decision early days when you're developing this kind of telescope. So James Webb, OK, we have to go through the end of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. So make it bigger. But if you make it bigger, you cannot see all of them, okay. right? But then the image quality is different then? Of course, yeah. Oh, it's different. So that okay. is a oh. spectacular image quality. Oh. But the Sphere X cannot see that, that much detail. Oh, okay. yeah. The James Webb telescopes go really deep, but only tiny bit of the sky. But Sphere X go to a little bit shallow because small telescope can go really much further and less, less detail, but it can go entire skies. Mm -hmm. So the Sphere X is actually can see that 150 moon at the same time. Even more than that, Sphere X is rotating all the way, all the time, right? So from this one, you can scan entire sky. Mm -hmm. So that's why Sphere X is designed for the survey. Mm -hmm. You can go to wider area and find interesting object mm -hmm. and then follow up with JWST. Oh, That's the wow. uh, astronomer's uh, tactic. And the first light. So we finally launched the space telescope and opened the shutter and take pictures. And we got the first images. 